What is up guys, Smooth here, back with another Minecraft video, and today we're going to be looking at a very cool new addition to 1.11, and that is the Shulker Box. So I'm going to bring you guys 15 different facts, some of them you might be familiar with and some of them you might not, but before I do, I want to show you all the crafting recipe. So as you can see over here, you're going to take a chest in the center and a Shulker Shell on top and bottom. There's roughly a 50% chance of a Shulker dropping a Shulker Shell, so you're going to have to kill roughly four to craft one of these. So let's go in this chest over here take out our two shulker shells two shulker shells that's a tongue twister and the chest and let's put it together so one on each side over here and we now have a purple shulker box so if you put it down let's uh, try to open it up very quickly you see it has this very cool opening effect and if i actually put down a shulker you'll see they look pretty much identical really really cool but now let's get to some of the facts so you can see what makes this particular item so unique. But let me quickly set the time today. There we go. All right, fact number one. They keep items inside when broken. So over here I have four different kinds of storage. I have a regular chest, an ender chest, a trap chest, and a shulker box. So I'm going to take a pick out and I'm going to go into survival mode. So let's go game mode zero and let's break these chests out. So again, just so you can see inside, I do have two diamonds in each of them. All right, so let's break the regular chest first. And there we go, two of them dropped as well as the chest. Now let's break the ender chest next. Any day now, and you'll see we get obsidian. Next up, the trap chest. Two diamonds fall out as well as the chest. And finally, the shulker box. It just drops itself. It didn't drop any items, but let's look at what happens when we place it down. As you can see, it already has the diamonds inside. So this has a lot of potential and it essentially functions as a backpack. So I can put this in my inventory, for example, and it will still have all the items I put inside before. So it's a very, very efficient way of storing things. So let me go back into creative mode and then let's look at fact number two. They can be named. All right, next up, let's look over here. So. As you can see, I have a couple different shulker boxes. Let's just grab one over here. And let's name it, let's name it video, just so you guys can see how it works out. Just like that, we now have a shulker box named video. Now this is gonna be good just for basic storage. So in case you wanna organize things, this one is just called a shulker box. And I think this one I called farming. So for example, you can just put your farming items in here, etc. But there are other ways to differentiate your shulker boxes. Uh, next up, fact number three, they can be crafted 16 different colors. So as you can see over here, we have a whole ton of different colors. And the way it's done is you'll take a regular shulker box and then you can put some form of dye. So let's go in here. And I think I might have taken them out, but I'll just go do it through the inventory over here. So let's just get a, let's go like that. Let's grab a purple dye, take our purple. Why did I get purple dye? That's like, <laughs> uh, let's get a cyan dye. Go in here and let's put in our shulker box, which I dropped on the floor right over here. Purple shulker box with cyan dye, and we now have a cyan shulker box. Looks really cool. And as you can see, there are 16 different colors. They all look really cool, and they all function the exact same way. Next up, we have fact number four. They can be re recolored infinite times. So if you decide to change something in terms of how you store things, you can always switch it up. So let's go in here and let's take uh, this red one over here. So this red shulker box I called recolor. Let me just put some of these items away that I no longer need. And let's grab some of these dyes. So we have recolor over here. Let's change it to magenta. We now have a magenta shulker box. And again, same thing. You could just keep on doing this infinitely. Really, really cool. Oh, what just happened there? That was odd. All right, next up, fact number five. They do not stack. So this makes them a little bit different than other chests. So as you can see over here, I have a stack of regular chests, ender chests, as well as trap chests. But if I try to stack all these, so let me just clear this inventory out. See, I can put all these in if I shift click, but if I shift click these, they will not go on top of each other. And again, same thing, I can grab it, try to put it on top, and it simply will not work. So one of the reasons for this is, let me see if I wrote it over here. Yes, is uh, basically to not cause data issues. So fact number six, they cannot be placed inside other shulker boxes. So basically it would be kind of like an infinite loop. So let's take, uh, let's just take one of these uh, shulker boxes over here. I'll take the pink one. Looks pretty cool. You see, if I try to put it inside, it won't allow me. You'll basically have an infinite items and you'll basically have a box that can store a bunch of items inside of another box that can store a bunch of items. 
et cetera, et cetera. And it will essentially be like an infinite loop. So over here, you can see it functions totally fine. I can put it inside, same thing with all the other chests. And you can see I still have my diamonds in that ender chest. And again, the color doesn't matter. You can't put it inside any of them. Next up, fact number seven, they have six block states and can be placed in any direction. All right, so as you can see, I have a different side facing me in every single way. And they open corresponding to the side that they've been placed. Looks really, really cool. All right, fact number eight, they won't open if a full block is above the top of the chest. So over here, you can see again, the trap chest, regular chest, and ender chest. And if I go to the bottom, they open totally fine. But if I try to open up the shulker box, it won't with another one on top of it. Uh, it also uh, will work if you do have a slab above it. So if I right click it, you'll see it opens totally fine. So it will only have a problem if it's a full block. So even a chest over here, you'll see I won't be able to open it. And with these directional uh, chests, you see I block them on the side that they would open. So this, the top of this shulker box is right over here. If I break it, it will now open. Same thing for this, whoops. Same thing for this one over here. I can't open it now if I broke this block. It can now be open from that direction. So again, something that makes it a little bit more unique than regular chests. All right, next up, fact number nine, they can be placed with dispensers. This is actually really cool. So on top of having a ton of items that can be carried inside of your, inside of like your inventory and your hotbar, you can now place them with these. So you can automate things to a pretty amazing extent. So let's place this one over here and you see with a regular ender chest, it will not work. Let's do it again. And with a regular chest, it also will not work. But let's go over here. And you'll see it places it just like that. Again, same thing over here. Can be placed in any of the directions that I showed you in the previous fact. Next up, fact 10. They can be transported by hoppers with all items. So let's look in here. So let's take a, uh, well, you see over here, it actually says when it's in your inventory what it has inside. So this, this purple shulker box has a diamond chest plate inside. And this purple shulker box has an ender chest inside. Again, you can't put shulker boxes inside um, other shulker boxes, but you uh, you can put other chests inside of it. So let's let's take uh, this diamond chest plate over here. So let me go back into survival mode, and let's see. It's which one is it? I think it should be this one. So let's throw it in here, just like that. It's going to go through all the hoppers, and we'll get it out over here. And we still have the diamond chest plate inside. So yeah, just so I'll put that here one more time. And you'll see when I put it down, still got our diamond chest plate inside. Let's do it one more time with the other one, the one that has the ender chest. So let's place it, ender chest inside. Let's break this chest, throw it back inside the hopper in just one second. Anytime now. And there we go. So again, throw it right inside here. Look inside and we still have the ender chest inside. So again, you can transport a lot of items very quickly now. Next up, fact 11. They will drop They will drop as an item if pushed by a piston. So let's look at that. So over here, you'll see I have two different uh, shulker boxes, nothing inside. But if I press this, they'll drop just like so. And again, if they had items inside, they would still retain them like normal. All right, next up. Fact 12, they raise up entities standing above them when open. This is really cool. I like this one a lot. So let's just go on top of this chest over here. And I'm just going to right click it and open it up. And you'll see it's raising me up. I believe it raises you up 0.4 blocks. So let's look at the top left corner. You'll see, yeah, it's 0.45. So I start at uh, a Y coordinate of 5. And again, you'll see it goes up just that small amount over there, which is one of the reasons why with a slab above the uh, second, the top half, uh, they can still open up. But now it has some other cool potential. So what I decided to do is kind of make like a little redstone trick over here where I, where I have a villager in, um, on top of a shulker box and I have a tripwire hook set up over here. So we're just going to see the redstone activate when I open this up. And again, it can cause a lot of really cool uh, redstone in, um, inventions. So if you want something to happen every single time somebody accesses a chest, you can now do it with this little trick. Well, there, there's other tricks as well, but this one I thought is just a little bit different. So let's go, uh, oh, I think I put it this way. Yes. All right, so again, same thing over here, but let's say that I was making an adventure map and I didn't allow you to break blocks. So I, I couldn't break any of these glass blocks over here. If I open this chest up, you'll see that I caused a piston to push on top of here so I can no longer open this chest. So using this method, you can have 
basically like a one-time use chest has a lot of potential again for really cool things to be done all right next up fact 13 they will deposit items in hoppers so again to continue with the other things that um, that i mentioned before you can do some really really cool things in terms of transporting items in mass so i have nothing in here let's put some items inside so i'm going to drop a bunch of diamonds in there just like this let's go and you're going to see them all drop in Again, they're all going through the hoppers as we can see over here and they will be placed inside the chest uh, next up fact 14 they are unaffected by fire lava and water all right so let's go right over here and let's set the time today quickly it's getting dark time set day perfect let me actually go back into creative mode so i don't hurt myself so let's grab a water bucket a lava basket some foot and steel and this just to clean up in case so let's go water first Oops, shift click. There we go. You'll see it has no problem. It will not be uh, unplaced. Let's put lava on top next. Oh, that was, a, oh, that was a pretty awesome fail on my part. So let's get rid of this first. Let's place the lava now. Oh boy. All right, there we go. So you'll see that the lava will spread on top of it, but it won't actually break it. So this is an awesome way to actually hide your chest. So you see if I right click it, I can still open it like normal and there will be no issues. Really, really cool thing. So let's get rid of this over here. And in the, same, uh, in the same manner, I'm just going to right click it with the flint and steel and you'll see it won't hold fire. All right, next up over here, uh, fact 15, they can be blown up and still have items inside. So this makes them unique to other chests because again, you can potentially lose items in the explosion. Uh, so we have a diamond pickaxe in here. Let's set it off with this, uh, oh, actually I actually already have one in my hand. So let's set it off with this flint and steel. Oops. There we go. So the shulker box is over there. Let me just put these two, let me get rid of these two over here so that way you know which one I picked up. Let's get out over here, place the shulker box, and we still have the diamond pickaxe inside. So as you guys can see, this is a really new, awesome addition to the game, and it has a lot of potential, and uh, I'm looking forward to using it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the new, uh, the new video format. It's uh, a little bit different than the way I normally do things, but I thought it was uh, pretty organized, and I was definitely a fan. If you guys like it, please leave a comment below and let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Anyway, guys, this is Smooth and I'll see you all later. Take it easy, guys.